What's up guys, this is your boy Dr. ZZ and uh, you guys have probably seen the title of the video, that's why you guys are here. What I'm about to say is, my, is might piss some of you guys off but I don't care. I think this is so important to put it out there so people have the right idea when they're starting PLAB. The number one thing, the number one reason that you should not do PLAB is if you have the wrong mindset. Now, let me elaborate, especially when this mindset comes to money. Let me explain. What I mean by that is, I'm not talking about someone telling you about the mindset of like, oh, I can pass this, you can do this. No, everyone who comes to do these exams comes with that kind of idea, idea that yes, I can do this. But their mindset really shows when money is involved. For example, let me start by explaining how much does doing the PLAB exams cost by itself. So, number one, you're going to start by doing the IELTS exams. Now, that might cost you around $200 to $300 regarding, depending on where you stand, stay. According to the statistics, a lot of people who do PLAB exams, even people who actually are proper English speakers, even British people, to get the required scores for IELTS, they almost at least have to do the exams twice, minimum. There are people who continue doing the exams four, five, six times. So let's take the minimum, it might cost you, let's say $300, the exam, IELTS itself might cost you $600. Then, PLAB 1 and PLAB 2 in total might cost you around $1,300 to $1,400. Most of you guys who are watching my videos are from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, so you guys have to travel to PLAB, uh, to UK to do the exams. So your flight costs, visa costs, stay during the time over there, paying for the um, accommodation, um, and also paying for the PLAB 2 course all might add up to around $4,000 to $5,000. So in total, that's how much this exam is going to cost you. So you have to know that when you start and you are starting to think about doing PLAB. That is number one. Let me, let me give you an example. What do, what do I mean by the mindset? So for those of you guys who watch my video, you know that I've started an IELTS course. I get a lot of messages on a daily basis, people telling me, Hey Dr. Ziz, you know your course is too expensive, which I don't think it is. I think it's probably the cheapest course out there. So people message me and ask me saying your course is expensive um, and uh, could you please check my IELTS essays or whatever. Look, I would love to do that for most of you guys, but you need to understand that you know I have 3,000 subscribers and I can only I only have so much limited time for myself. So definitely I can't do that. But coming back to my point, there's a lesson over there. The people who are telling that a $55 course is expensive do you understand that what your the IELTS the entire PLAB exam is going to be costly I mean it's gonna cost you around four thousand dollars so if you cannot afford fifty five dollars for an IELTS course which is necessary for you to move on to PLAB 1 how are you going to afford PLAB 1 PLAB 2 further exams I mean that's something to think about now most of the people who tell me that they don't have money it's actually a lie. You do. Let me explain why. So let's say we went to a place like, like Russia or China. Yes, the course was $6 or was a five-year course. So $6,000 multiplied by five. So you spent $30,000 already in your education. Plus or minus five, six thousand dollars for your accommodation, rent over the years, flight tickets. So you must have approximately spent $40,000 getting that education. Now, that education, think about it, was like the cake. You've been making a cake and it was like the cake. These exams, PLAB, your country exams, this is the icing. This is what will help you actualize and prove that, you know, yes, now you can work as a doctor. These exams are like the epitome, like the final touches that to your degree that allows you to work as a doctor. So if you have already spent $40,000 in your education, don't tell me you can't take out another $4,000 to do a PLAB exam. Right? I mean, most of you guys can. That's why it's very important, even after medical school, pretend that that extra year that you're planning to do PLAB exam or whatever is going to be a medical school year. And just take that amount of money and just do your exams. Let's say now, let's talk about the second category, people who actually don't have money. Now, I, I actually had friends who were going through a really tough time in medical school. They used to do odd jobs and make money to pay for their medical school. Now, those people don't have money. Now, those people, once again, don't do PLAB. I mean, you guys are putting yourself out of failure because if you're planning to do PLAB, you are just in a rush to jump from your medical school and go to UK as soon as possible. 
even though like you know fine that could be a good idea but it is not in case if you don't have money because this exam costs just that you need money let's face it that is the truth so if you don't have money go back to your country you know and even then you might have to put take money out to learn your country exams and you know go through courses become a doctor in your country work for like a two or three years save up money and then start doing these exams yes you might not be able to go to uk as soon as possible but then a few years here and there will not change anything what i'm trying to say is that guys if you don't have money to actually do these courses for example uh, i mean i have an ielts course that you guys can join i mean this is the cheapest course that i've, I've compared everywhere and this is the cheapest that i've found if you guys don't have $55 to do an IELTS exams, well, if you guys are comfortable in English, you can go ahead. But statistics says most of the people who have done IELTS, they tend to fail twice, three times at least. At least twice. I mean, I failed once, you know, and it, that had nothing to do with my English language. All it had to do was my mindset, the way of focusing onto these exams, right? I had a friend who is a, I have a friend who is a British national. English is his first language. Even then he did not get the required scores. Why? Because he tend, he said, oh, I'm already spending $300 for an IELTS exams. Why should I spend $50 more? He cheaped out on his education. That's the only word that comes out. I mean, don't cheap out on your education. What I did was I hired this tutor. She was there with me throughout. She managed, she made sure that, you know, I did the exam properly, got through it the second time. And that was because I got proper training. I mean, every country has its own way of doing medicine. So please, 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 I beg you, do not cheap out here. You guys have spent so much money in the last six years, 30, 40, $50,000 already has been spent in getting that degree. Don't cheap out now. To, don't cheap out to spend another five, 300, 400, 500 dollars extra to make sure that the degree actualizes, to make sure that you can get that PLAB exam done properly and then move forward. If you're not going to do that, if you're going to start cheaping out and if you're going to start cheaping out and, and not doing courses that are required, then you're just, you might pass and if you do then that's great, but if you fail, you're just going to be frustrated and you're going to lose more money in the end, more time in the end. And that's what if you guys are going to start thinking this way, I'm pretty sure that those who guys, I mean, there are some guys over there who are 50 50 about club exams. They're not sure. So when they actually take this into consideration, if they start thinking like enough, because if you are doing IELTS exams and if you have paid someone to tutor you, if you're doing your club one exams, you're played, that means you are 101% serious. You're not nearly really about this. That way, you will also know that if you're serious about this exam or not. If you're going to do an I, this IELTS exams just by yourself and you have not done it before or you're not sure about it, then, I mean, you might save $50 here, but if you would fail, you might need to start taking out $300 again. And even then you might not have a chance of passing. That's exactly what I see in all these Facebook groups. There are people in these groups that say, they are my, this is my fifth attempt at these IELTS exams and I still cannot pass. And when I ask them like, hey, did you hire somebody? Oh no, I've been doing it by myself. I'm like, what the hell? I mean, I'm, and then I ask him, why can't, why didn't you hire? He's like, oh, I've already spent so much. Why do I spend more for to hire somebody? That exactly is the mindset I'm talking about, guys. That person actually was trying to be very frugal about saving that $50 when he ended up spending $1,500 for the IELTS exams. Really take this thing seriously. This is something big. Every single exam is different. USMLE is different. PLAB is different. Probably a country exam. So every country needs specific coaching. Pay for those coaching classes so that you can increase your chances to actually passing those exams than just beating around the bush and failing all the time. I really hope this video got to you. For those of people, if I pissed you guys off, I mean, maybe that was the right thing at this point because maybe th this video is like an eye-opener to you guys to really think where you guys stand in this plan journey. If you guys are interested in the course, check out the link in the description below. You can contact me over there. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below and let me know what do you guys think about this video. Follow me on my Instagram and Facebook. This is your boy Dr. Zizi. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.